Hello, welcome to a video tutorial of how to converting how to convert CR2 fi CR2 files into JPEGs of smaller sizes which are which we can upload on our website. Well, uh, you can see that we are inside uh, uh, the ACDC Pro and I've just randomly selected one folder, Yoga. It's been shot by us. So here we see a collection of CR2 files, which are the raw files, and we are supposed to change, convert them into JPEGs and, and rename them as well, batch rename them. This is very important. So what we're doing, I'm going to select all these photos here. Let me just make a safe copy so that uh, I don't make a mistake of renaming the files later on. So you go to yoga. Uh, mock files. I'm just randomly selecting a few files and putting it here, making a copy of it. Because once we convert them, we can't revert back to the original file names. So I just, I just don't want to make a mistake of that. And uh, so we are back to ACTC Pro. And I've just created a folder mock files. Here we have a collection of certain CR2 files, right? So we want to batch convert this, let's say. I've selected all the files. And on top there is a batch button. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename the file first. We're going to rename it here. And we're going to, according to our set pattern, we're going to rename it like this. Big diff stock dash photo and uh, dash today's date. So this is 8088-2011. So the dating, the date renaming will be just uh, whenever you, you are converting the files, you can just put that same very name. Now suppose today I want to convert another set of files. So it's always better to put a series, you know, like A, B. Suppose yoga is one collection of files and the next uh, folder that I take take up that is something else you know like for example that's vegetables so it's always better to rename as in uh, put a series name so let's say a something put everything in small letters and then we uh, we just put a dash so what 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 it does is you can see over here this original file 058 underscore one, this will get renamed to big diff stock photo uh, 08082011, right? So, and uh, use numbers to replace, one second. So, remember this, we're going to have to put this as well. Let's put four of this. This sign means that there is a numerical number over here. This is the series. This is how the series will develop. So th this this photo will become pick diff stock photo dash the series uh, as in the coding, and then of course one two three four five and whatever. So we're putting four digits so that I if if it goes in three digits, if suppose there are hundreds and hundreds of photos, it'll be easier to name them. S and you see that use numbers to replace this sign symbol. So we're using this by default, so you don't you don't have to change anything at all. Okay. So that's all about renaming over here. No change. File name case, no change. Insert metadata. Oh well, this will come to this later. So as of now, re renaming is this simple. You do this and you say start renaming. So what it does, all 32 files got renamed. Now you see this file, if we take a uh, as in if we, we view it uh, in terms of film strip so this file name would be where where is the file name I can't see it um, yeah here you see big diff stock photos slash uh, so and so 0001 CR2 and this one is 0002 so basically we've renamed our files right now what you wanna do is we wanna convert it into JPEGs right 
So you're going to change the view so that I can select all the files together, thumbnails. Now again, uh, we select all the files and we go to batch and we say convert file format. Now by default, it comes JPEG and if it doesn't, make sure that this JPG is selected, right? And that's all you have to do. And in the format set settings, you can, you just keep the best compression of the JPEG. So of course there will be JPEG compression al applied to all the CR2 files. So don't uh, worry about it. Make sure that this is 100% and don't change anything else. Make sure this is 2.1 horizontal. Just check your settings if, if, if it uh, resembles this particular uh, pattern. OK it and we're gonna go um, never add thumbnails fine next okay next is destination place modified images in the source folder fine because we, we don't want to change the folder usually don't do this because otherwise we'll get mixed up the files will get mixed up let the CR2 and the JPEG uh, lay stay in the same folder and if suppose you if there's a problem with the space or something you can have the files uh, placed in any folder that you choose to you can browse and just like an explorer you can you can create make new folder and 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 get a and get with it so it, we're not doing it we're placing it in the source folder and okay override existing files what it does agar, uh, if you're switching this on if we say re replace so all the CR2 files will become JPEG files so we, we will lose uh, uh, than the original files. So leave it as a default. Ask. Preserve last modified dates. We don't have to worry about it. Let's go to next. And uh, uh, create single page images, a separate images created for each page. Okay, we don't have to worry about it. Converts all pages. We don't have to worry about it. Start convert. Okay, so now it's going to take a little while because there's 32 of them. And uh, no, it's happening really fast. And with a faster machine, this can even become faster than what it is right now. So three of them are already converted. I think we should have chosen a less number of photos. And uh, okay, five. Let's wait for a while. I know it's very painful to see uh, is happening but it is worth it because the purpose of renaming and uh, resizing the files is because the CR2 file the if that is 100 MB file when it's converted to JPEG it will become 10 or 12 MB prob probably so there's a ratio that that gets applied and uh, uh, on the site we can only upload you know we shouldn't upload I mean we can upload it as uh, whatever size we want but we should not upload more than four, five, or six MB um, files, you know. So it is not that you can convert them only into JPEGs. You can convert them into uh, TIFF and any other every other format. So you can check while converting uh, in that setting. You can check in the batch edit what are the formats you require. Sometimes uh, we need to uh, do some photo touching up on on the images. So we may have to convert them into TIFF images and then uh, kind of uh, work on them and give them to the photo editor. But I believe uh, JPEGs should also be fine if they are big enough. We can go and check if the JPEGs are happening or not from outside the source. We can go to our original file. It's eating up a lot of resources, so it's taking a little time. We can go to our folder, yoga, mock files. See, these JPEGs are happening right there. So the original file is on CR2 file is 13 MB. Okay. And this one is 7, 7 MB. Right? So this is a perfect uh, sizing, 5 MB. Of course, depending on the size of the original image, uh, the JPEG will have its own size itself. But it's happening all right. So they, they're getting convert the conversion process on right over here. So this is what we want. Now, if suppose sometimes the file sizes are becoming very large, more than seven, eight, and more than ten or something, uh, I will show show you what setting you have to make to make it come to five MB, five or seven MB. Uh, we'll 
let's go to our ACDC panel yeah there's a lot of photos I'm I think it's gonna take a little while after the conversion is over let's see which of the file 32 I think 32 files are done okay so why isn't it opening so basically the conversion is done uh, we can check here again we'll go to the assigned folder yoga more files and we can view the files sort the files in image image type so all the CR2s will come in front and we can have uh, actually uh, list so these are the JPEGs 32 CR2s on top and 32 JPEGs here right so you see this is how the conversion is done um, and uh, you can actually make a new folder over here separate folder I'm recording an instructional video this you're watching an instructional video of how to convert files into JPEGs in uh, ACDC Pro so just to sort them out properly we can create a folder and say uh, JPEGs or whatever like you can keep name it so what we can do we can we can again sort them as uh, image type and view them in list this is an easier way to check out the files we can cut them and actually we can paste them in the folder so it's more sorted this way so this is the folder which will get uploaded on the mother site so I believe uh, this is much more clearer now now there's there's there are times when suppose we take up a photo which is very high the CR2 file itself is very big let's suppose uh, this one the size is six, six size let's uh, to know the size we have to go to the properties okay where is the property oh, one second see more or less we're done with this particular tutorial but there's a one point sometimes the JPEGs are very large that's because the ratio uh, where I want to show how to control the size of the JPEGs we'll go to our assigned folder and uh, we're gonna select a big high res now the CR2 files here are 30, 13 MB I'm just trying to look out for something which is really big. Um, more or less 12 MB files will produce 5 to 7 MB uh, JPEGs, raw files. Um, I mean, if it's a TIFF that that get needs to be converted into JPEG, then what you can do is before you convert batch convert, please take up one single one single file and go to batch convert. sorry no you cannot s uh, convert one uh, select two files you're right anyway we can end this uh, session over here and I can do another video for, th for the same thing which we're trying to solve <laughs>